This episode of Front Page Tech is sponsored by ProcessorHosting.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Front Page Tech, the show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek, that's me, to another. My name is John Prosser, and today we're talking Facebook, Amazon, a little bit about competition, and about the show itself. <laughs> As you can tell, we have a bit of a news shortage today, but that's fine because that gives me time to talk to you guys about some other stuff. So the first piece of news is about Amazon. They are now selling MP3s that can go directly to our iDevices, so iPhones, iPods, iPads, whatever. So now you don't just have to use iTunes for that. Now Amazon, well they've always sold MP3s, but now they're actually allowing stuff to be downloaded directly to the devices. So that's cool. You know, for those of us who buy music. <clears throat> Speaking of iDevices, it turns out that the Nexus 7, Google's flagship 7-inch tablet, has outsold the iPad in Japan. Yay, Android! Woo! Now, as you know, I'm a huge Apple fan, but I'm not at all disappointed by this whole Nexus 7 defeats iPad thing in Japan. First of all, it's in Japan. I don't live in Japan. And second of all, competition is not bad. If we didn't have competition, there would be no motivation to make better products. And here's the last piece of news for you today. I know there's been only three, and I know it's, it's heartbreaking, but I'm here for you. I'm here. So for once, you're going to hear me say something good about Facebook, because they really impressed me, and they really did something good. At least I think so. Unfortunately, what I'm about to talk about only exists in the world of iOS. Facebook Messenger is an app that is available for iDevices, and basically all it is is messaging, Facebook messaging, but in a uh, native app itself. Facebook has now officially rolled out a feature for the Messenger that enables you to talk for free to any of your friends on Facebook. So I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. Here's my iPhone 5 slide to unlock. Right there you can see the Facebook Messenger app. If I if I hit that, you can see the list of people I'm talking to on my Facebook Messenger. I'm going to use Brian Shoup as an example. A friend Brian, let me hit that. All right, so we got Brian Shoup's conversation up. So as you can see, I can I can type, you know, and talk to him that way. But if I hit this little I up here, I have the option of talking to him. It says free call. So all I'd have to do is hit that, and it would call his phone, and we could talk for free over Facebook services. Of course, it would, this would work over Wi-Fi, but still, free calling. Thank you, Facebook. So the feature is definitely nice, and you can definitely tell that Facebook is now trying to compete with Skype, which isn't a bad idea. I use Skype sometimes, but everybody's on Facebook. Everybody is on Facebook. So this definitely works out to our needs rather than what business needs. Thumbs up, Facebook. You did good. Okay, so before I close the show out, I just want to talk a little bit about the show and what's been going on. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you. This week has been awesome. I, did, I definitely did not expect... Uh, the feedback that I that I had for the show. Of course, I hyped it up for months. I've been talking about it, and then it wasn't until two weeks ago where I made it official and said, hey, I'm going to do this. And then everybody just kind of joined me as I started and supported me, and thank you, because it all worked out. It wasn't even until Sunday where I tweeted something saying, hey, Monday is starting the very first episode of Front Page Tech, and I will be doing an episode every weekday, so come see me. And everybody did. I was definitely going to finish this whole week out doing it, but I was just going to kind of test the waters, I guess, in the beginning of the week and see how the show did and decide if I was going to do it or not. And right now I can officially tell you I'm definitely going to continue doing the show, especially with all the good feedback I've had. Right now as I'm filming this, I can say that uh, throughout the week, and I've only been, this is my fourth day doing this, I have 141 subscribers in four days. That's awesome. And if things continue the way they are, by tomorrow I'll have 200 subscribers. So just keep it up, guys. Spread the word. Let people know that we're doing this. Uh, and every day, within a couple hours, I'm having at least 300 views on each video. So that's awesome. I definitely did not expect this. So just come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Not to mention, I've gotten like 40 likes per video that goes up. So if you've been paying attention to small minor details, you would see that the show's lighting has been changing dramatically. Uh, the white background has been shifting in color almost. Uh, the lights in front of me have been just awful uh, on, until now, really. But uh, this weekend, I'm having a, a full light kit come in. I've been ordering stuff. And uh, I've also gotten requests for uh, a tour of the studio. 
I don't know why, but I, I'm happy to do that. I will, I will definitely do that. And probably next week, I'll give you a tour of the studio. But uh, thanks for bearing with the small changes. The show has gone from looking decent to green and all kinds of different crap. But by next week, on Monday, I will have everything straightened out, hopefully, and the show will look awesome. So until then, I guess I'm going to have to leave you here because I'm going to go now. But hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Another update is uh, tomorrow I'm not actually going to be in the studio. Tomorrow I'm going, I will do the show on the go because I have something to, to do in the morning. I have to go work on a computer. And then I have a meeting in the afternoon. And then late afternoon I have other stuff to do. So I'm busy tomorrow. But I'm still going to make sure I get the show out for you. So look for that. I'll probably film the show in my car or something. I don't know. Hey. You still get the show. But again, thank you for all the support. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow. If you have any stories you want to talk to me about or send me or whatever, my email address, bam, john at creativebasics.co is how you can get a, a hold of me. And if you want to just get in contact with me on a social network, whoop, there's my Twitter. At John Process, how you can get a hold of me on Twitter. And with that said, I'm going to leave you guys. So, bye. <laughs>